God, you. <sighs> There's indents in my skin. Oh my god, ouch! Look, this is me trying to clean it. Took the band aid off. That's what it looked like. molecule it has a hundred times the antioxidant value than vitamin C. It's a powerful sterile for bacteria and viruses, even can antidote venom. It's been known to be even used with snake bites. So, because this looks like a spider bite, probably a brown recluse spider, is what we assume. I'm going to put chaparral on to keep it sterile. And over here I have my kit of scalpels, my little home exacto knives. I'm going to take the knife and I'll spritz it down with a little chaparral. And it's soaked into vodka. So we have alcohol and chaparral just to sterilize the instrument. And I'll get another one to help hold the tissue up. So what we need to do is get the poison out of the wound. The poison's causing swelling, intense heat, and pain. So we're going to drain it and pull the pus out here. What I'm going to do is just take the scalpel, gently, I'm going to feel first, see where all the soft puffy areas are, that's where all the poisons are, on the venom, out here is sensitive, so without going too deep, I'm going to make a small incision, right here, if it will let me. I need a sharper one. There we go. We're in, baby. We're in. So we'll drain out all the poison. Get our little sterile pad here. Catch all the ooze. Dry it off a little bit, and let's get more poison back out. Oh, yes. We got a gusher. And it looks like, to me, not only we have the venom, the poison, a lot of dead white blood cells and the clear drainage but it looks like a little bit of tissue here and that's typical of venom it starts to break the tissue down so we're actually seeing parts of the skin tissue that was destroyed by the venom 
that's coming on at the same time amongst a lot of dead white blood cells, a few red blood cells, and still more. And the reason I need to do this, as you can see, it was all raised up. So it created a lot of pressure because that poison didn't have a place to go. And it kept setting in the tissue and irritating it more. Now that I've expressed this out and opened the wound, I'm going to step into another form of treatment. Open the wound back up. Expand it. Open the hole. and I'm going to put ozone in it, the triatomic form of oxygen. This will be to sterilize it. So what we have here is an air concentrator. It takes the room air, 80% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, extracts the nitrogen, concentrates the oxygen, runs the pure oxygen into this machine as a closed glass tube, an electrical spark to accelerate the oxygen from O2 to O3. We're going to take our tube, bubble in there, what we have here is pure oxygen, pure ozone, which has been known to sterilize every form of bacteria and viruses on the planet that are anaerobic. So we're going to set this right over top the hole I just created. We're going to ozonate right into the wound to sterilize it and help destroy any of the venom that might be lingering. And then I'm going to take my chaparral. I'm going to squirt that into the wound a little bit of cayenne tincture, which is just cayenne, habanero, African bird pepper, jalapenos, and cayenne all soaked into vodka for 30 days and then strained. And then after we're finished, I'm going to put some drawing salve on, a nice German drawing salve based in chaparral, cloves, a little bit of poke root, it's been known to help draw chickweed. That'll go on top of the wound afterwards to keep drawing the poisons out. I'll take a little bit of hydrogen peroxide before I do that. This is 35% hydrogen peroxide, food grade. I'm going to dump some <clears throat> into our pan of water. That'll increase the oxygen content of the water and the oxidizing potential. So, as soon as I'm finished here with the ozone, I'm going to stick it back into the water. Draw it with the salt and help sterilize it with the food grade peroxide. And then dry it back out, ozonate it one more time, and then put the tinctures and the salve on. And over here, I do have a couple homeopathic remedies that I've used. I have Arnica gel. Arnica I used first initially just for the trauma. It had a marginal effect, if anything. And then also Arnica capsule or tablets, Hypericum, and Letum using each one every 15 minutes, every three hours to help with the inflammation and swelling. And I think it only had a marginal effect. There was a lot of swelling, a lot of intense pain. It wasn't until we actually started to soak this and uh, draw the infection back that we saw a reduction in the swelling. So here we are ozonating with pure ozone right into the wound. And to show you the example, we'll take it now, we'll put it into our hydrogen peroxide bath and salt bath. Whoa, and that stings a bit. Now you can see, it's already drawn up a little bit. Take it back here. Dry it off one more time push any water back out that I got in. Not too much. Now what we've lost is the large head. You can still see the redness circling here, so there's still more reaction to the poisons. So to work with that, I'll take some tincture. Chaparral, we'll put that right on. The 
soak that in, take it right up the vein. See a little redness here in the vein streaking up, a little phobitis. That's something we don't want to play with. Don't let the alcohol soak into there. And now <clears throat> we'll put our drawing salve on. The drawing salve is in there to just keep drawing the poisons and the reactive toxins back out. Nice black goopy stuff. We'll stick right there on top of the wound. There you have it. Just like that. So that's how we've treated our snake bite today. Drain down all the poison and the pus. We'll have to look tomorrow and see what happens tomorrow. Check in with us tomorrow. We'll see how the wound's doing. Maybe we'll cut some more. Um, and hopefully it'll be feeling a lot better.